So uh, let's get going. Night of Champions, we just finished watching. And uh, the main event of the show was the Roman Reigns and Solo versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens match. And the big spot at the end was a referee bump. And after the referee got bumped, everybody running in and everything like that, the Usos hit the ring. And uh, finally, Roman gets laid out on the outside. And in the ring, the Usos are hitting the double super kick on Sammy. And they hit him once, they hit him twice, they go for the third time, Sammy ducks, and they both super kick solo. Well, they, they, didn't they lay it, they laid out Owens on the floor, right? Well, yeah, he's already had a thing. Yeah. So they, they hit solo with the double super kick on accident. But Roman looks up just in time to see them super kick him. So he gets in the ring. He's furious. He shoves Jimmy. Jay tries to calm him down. Roman starts flipping out on Jay. He gives Jay a pie face, turns around, and Jimmy super kicks Roman. So Jay starts screaming at him, what are you doing? Why'd you do that? Jimmy screams at him saying, I did what you should have done a long time ago. He gives Roman another super kick. And then Jay's like, Jimmy, we got to get out of here. We got to go. So they both leap to the back. And then uh, Solo's still in the ring, so Kevin comes back, hits him with a stunner. Sammy hits him with a kick in the corner, pins him. And uh, it was an excellent match, and they pulled the trigger on the Usos-Roman Reigns split. To a degree, because Jimmy, Jay didn't, you know, Jay didn't give which side he's on. Jay yes. was still, Jimmy Jimmy and, and Roman split. Jay is in the middle, you know, and... Um, that's where everything sort of seemed to stand. Although, you know, you looked at it like it was going to be the Usos against Roman. And it will be at some point. Yeah. But it looks like it's first Roman and, and Jimmy. And then Jay has to make a choice at that point. Yep. So so we've actually got, I mean, we'll get to Brock and, and Cody. But Brock won via ref stoppage when Cody passed out. So clearly, SummerSlam is probably Cody and Brock again. And then... No, I think it, it's going to be Seth Rollins and Brock. Uh, Seth Rollins and Brock? Yeah, that's why Brock would probably win, so Seth Rollins would get the title. So Brock gets a title shot, because Brock hasn't been able to challenge for the title um, since uh, Roman won. Oh, if Roman has it? Yeah, he yeah. can do that, too. Yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, clearly, we got to get back to Cody and Roman at some point. And you can keep him busy yeah, 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 in the but, meantime. Yeah, yeah. With uh, whatever. I mean, they could do they could do um, Brock again very much, but for a, for a time period, but, but, you know, and they could do... They also could do Seth and Roman and um, Seth and Brock at, in London, and then do uh, Cody and Brock at SummerSlam. Yep. You, you could do it that way. Well, the point is, we got Cody kind of handled for a while, and then Roman is clearly going to go Roman and Jimmy, and then probably Roman and Solo versus both Usos. Then you've got Roman and Jay. Yeah. And then you can either go back to Roman and Cody. And solo at some point. Well, I mean, you could do Roman and Cody, there's, and there's a, there's Solo a... costs Roman the win. Cody gets a title, yeah, and that builds to Roman and Solo down the road. So they have a year's worth of oh, storylines yeah. with yeah, yeah. Roman, and, 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 Usos, Cody, everybody uh, else. Oh, oh yeah, but, but they've always had that. I mean, you you knew that that was all coming. the uh, The other thing too is, um, I I still would have beaten Roman in this match, you know, with whether whether it was you know just because you can set uh, Sammy up for another shot too. Even if it's on television. Yes. I, I thought that Roman should take the pin because... But they, they're totally protecting Roman and I and, and Well, yeah, but like I mean, that. the whole story, when they first announced the match, it was like Roman was belittling the Usos for being unable to beat Kevin and Sammy. Right. You guys can't do it. You guys failed. I'm going to go in there and do it. So for the story, what should have happened is he should have failed. And then, of course, you know, but that would have been if they hadn't broken up because then they could say, like, you know, you said you were going to... You know, blah, 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 but you didn't. But now that they've split up, I guess it doesn't matter. But they are very much protecting him. And uh, I thought it was a, an excellent main event. It was an excellent match, yeah. And really, the whole show, in terms good. of, like, matches, I mean, it was a really good show. Oh, yeah, it was a really good show. I thought, um, you know, as far as, like, the um, the match and everything like that, um, I mean, it was, it was a really... The crowd was very, very into the main event, far more than anything else on the show. Very into Sami Zayn. So that helped out a lot. And, um, you know, they... they the crowd was, you know, they treated everybody like stars anyway, but um, Sammy was at a completely different level from everybody else, which is funny because, you know, up until this this one, he's never been, been allowed to go. So, um, but he was, you know, so that made the match a lot too, is just the idea that, um, you know, the people were so into it and, and everything like that. Well, the show it up with Seth Rollins, AJ Styles for the WWE, the new World Heavyweight title. And uh, Seth Rollins is expected one, and he won clean. Uh, well, he, he's a babyface. He had to win. He had, it, this, ma this match, like, 
it kind of had to be what it was in the sense Seth had to win. And he, he couldn't do it on a fluke because it would have just like, you don't want to kick this championship off with some fluke finish. It had to be a clean win. AJ's, you know, AJ's beatable. They don't protect him that much to where, you know, whatever. So it was, you know, I mean, I figured that the idea of this match is Seth and AJ have a great match. AJ's a great opponent for him. Loses at the end. Seth looks strong. And then you build up Seth for, you know, whoever the next contender is. And with McIntyre gone, Brock is the guy. Yeah, you could tell from the commentary and the way they worked the match that uh, even though this is technically the bronze medal, they're trying to put this over as, you know, this is the this is the working man's title. He's going to be out here defending yeah, all you know, the time. He's going to be having great matches. And so... But that used to be like they was, what they would say what they about the... That's what they the Intercontinental The Intercontinental title, title. yeah, this yeah. Is, this is the new Intercontinental title, but it's exclusive to one brand. But that's why, you know, they went 20 minutes. It was a great match. It was all wrestling, clean finish, putting over big that Seth is going to defend all the time. So, uh, which is kind of an interesting thing that you're... Uh, Right. You know, just talk about how Roman's not really like a fighting champion, and he, you're you're pushing him as completely unbeatable in the 1,000 days. But in in storyline, you're also saying like he never does anything, and you know he's devaluing the title by never defending well, they, it. They, they've never said he devalues he the they title. Don't say they won't say the devalues title, the title. The They're, way they, they describe it, it's like this guy's not a fighting champion. He's not giving anybody opportunities. This championship will give people those opportunities. Yeah, yeah. But it was a good match. It was a great opener. Yeah, yeah, it was really very, very strong. I mean, I don't think it was out of this world, but it was, it was a, it was a great match. Um, you know, very much though. I mean, I would say that the match was very much almost exactly what you would think the match would be. You know, um, I mean, there's some cool moves and everything like that, and um, some twists and turns that were new. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't by the book. I mean, there, there were, you know, they went longer and everything like that. Um, but it still was not. Um, like, oh my God, I've never seen anything like it type match. You can also find me at Vincent Verhey on Cameo. Oh my God. I will send you a happy birthday wish. <laughs> I will send you a happy anniversary wish. Granny, you ever thought about being on Cameo? What is it? My computer, my front page is uh, uh, Microsoft. And I g go through there and see all kinds of lies and stuff like that. And here you are, you're doing a commercial. And then you had me on there. When I was ranting about WrestleMania, did you get my permission? Oh, okay. Wait, wait, what? Just, what? Just stop You're, for a second. Your front page is Microsoft. I yeah. guess. I don't even know what that means, your front page is Microsoft. What do you mean you go through there and see all the lies? What does that mean? Well, they have a whole bunch of stuff, you know, about this and that and this and that, you know, all kinds like of news. Like the news? News? I don't post the videos. I don't edit the videos. If you saw some video or some commercial... I have no idea what it is or where it came from or who edited it together. I'm sure it was someone from the site. It's not, no, Tony, it's not Tony, and it's not Dave, and it's not me. And it's not Vinny. He's busy doing cameos. That's right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.